Welcome back, it's Christina, and if you haven't already checked out my last video, which is DIY magnets for the holidays, go ahead and check that video out because it only has like a few views, and I think it's one of my best videos, so go check it out. All right, moving on to what this video is actually about, which is envelope stuffing, which you guys just love when I stuff my envelopes, so let's get started with something i will be taking withdrawing from my envelope so it is the third month and i need to take from my water envelope for the past two months so i am withdrawing 70 dollars from my water envelope also i withdrew 20 dollars from my home repair envelope because I had to use my home warranty again. My furnace was not working properly and um, I had another issue so I had to use my home warranty so I was able to do 25 out of my monthly budget and I took 20 from the envelope to kind of float me along here. All right, so now my envelopes that I'm gonna stuff. First up, my stationary envelope which is $5. And that envelope is for like stamps, paper for the house, different things like that. My next envelope is my car saving envelope, which is kind of proving to be a vital envelope because my car is a 2008 and it's going to be 2018 very soon and it's starting to make some noises on the colder days. So um, yeah, I hope I don't have to use this soon, um, but I might, I might have to. So anyway. Um, like I did last month, I'm taking my oil change money that I designate for the month, I'm putting it to my car envelope as well because I don't need any more money in my oil change envelope. So what am I putting here? I'm putting $27 in my car saving, my car repair envelope. All right, so moving on to a topic that I left off uh, very sadly with uh, in the last envelope stuffing was the topic of grad school. And although I still don't want to go, uh, I do have to go. It's a stipulation of my degree and um, not of my degree, but of my teaching certificate. So anyway, um, I have thought about, I've brainstormed some ideas as to why I should not worry so much about being able to front the cost of grad school initially until my school can reimburse me for the course. And some of those things that I came up with was, pretty soon it will be tax season, so I'm gonna take um, probably majority, if not all, of my tax um, return and apply it towards one of my courses. Another thing I thought of was that um, when I'm in grad school, my current student loans can be deferred. And so during the time when I'm enrolled as a, you know, in a course, I don't know how many months that would be, maybe like three months at a time, but I can save three to $400 each month or put it towards my course that I'm currently enrolled in because I can do like a grad school deferment. So um, like through Navient, they will defer my loans because I'm still in school. So that could produce like three to $400 a month for about three months for each class that I take. So that's something right there that I totally forgot about. Another thing I have coming up is, um, you guys, if you've been following me, you know that my school has taken pay cuts to our salary, not just my school, but my system. We've taken cuts to our salary. And one of the ways that they're gonna kind of like pay us back or say, hey, hang on, it'll be worth it soon, just wait for it. Uh, kind of like a little uh, stake at the end of the treadmill is um, we get like a, a bonus in July, so um, a July coming up. So I know that's like six months from now, but this is how you gotta plan <laughs> uh, for large purchases and grad school is a large purchase. So I could hopefully take that whatever's not taxed on the bonus I can take and put towards my grad school. I know that I also have um, in an upcoming month, I wanna say anywhere between March and May, there are three paychecks in that month when usually I'm just used to two. So there's kind of an additional paycheck. Kinda of not sure how that works all the time. I end up seeing about 
extra in my account, I end up seeing about half of that check because I still have to live that extra week. So there are still expenses and things that need to be paid. So I don't necessarily count one full extra check, but I end up with like half. Of an, of an extra check. So that will be something that I can put towards my grad school. And if all of that wasn't enough, I rem, um, have been stuffing my cash envelopes for contacts. And um, I recently tried Hubble. Um, and that was a recommendation from one of my subscribers, Donna. Thanks, girl. I think it was Donna. Um, and I finally tried Hubble. And it's been working well. And so Hubble is a subscription contact company and it's $33 a month, $30 for the contacts. I think it's $3 for shipping. And so whereas I was saving $50 a month before for my o AccuView Oasis, now I'm spending $33 a month. And I have to say that they seem very comparable. Um, with the AccuView Oasis, my, my eyes would still get dry by the end of the night. And we're talking by the end of the night, like nine o'clock. And does this happen with the Hubble? Yep, it happens with those two, but I think that's just gonna happen for me. Um, Cause I was trying what I thought was the best of the best product. So if I can save um, almost $20 a month, then that's a great thing. So what that means though, is in the meantime, I was saving before in advance for my purchase. Now it just comes out per month. So I didn't need to pay anything lump sum. So I have about $350 that I'm going to take from my contact envelope, which by the way, I've already like transferred into um, Capital One 360. So this money just needs to go in the bank. I'm just using it as show. But um, I'm taking my contact money that I have been saving and I'm gonna switch it up and put it into this grad school envelope. And um, again, I'm not happy to be doing this, but I'm so grateful to have found a solution. So with all that being said, I hope that your December is going very well. I know it's kind of chaotic and there's not a lot to be saving this month because it's so difficult to do so with all these different events and things, but enjoy the time. You've been working hard at it if you've been doing what I've been doing. And so I'm kind of speaking to myself, enjoy the fruits of your labor this month and um, just enjoy that you're not putting anything on a credit card and that you're starting the year fresh, whereas so many people are not starting the year fresh. And maybe they'll join us in the new year. So thank you for watching and have a great day.